Hello everyone, Trophy Winehunter. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's April 2023 and here is my monthly update. What's happening this month? Well, it's a very exciting time in Vancouver because we have the Vancouver International Wine Festival or the VIWF. I'm very pleased that they gave me media accreditation so I'll be able to go to some of the events. Um, I'm going to go to some of the um, seminars to learn some things and I'm going to do some videos on it. I will be at the International Tastings on Friday night, which I believe is April the 28th. So I hope to see uh, many subscribers and viewers there. If you see me, um, say hi to me, but um, please be polite. Um, if you're drunk, please don't uh, make a scene just uh, I'd love to talk to people that are actually interested in talking about wine. With the International Wine Festival here this month, I'm going to try and do a couple of videos on that, uh, maybe some shorts. Um, one, I'm going to try and do one with just to give you an introduction to the Vancouver International Wine Festival and all it has to offer. I'm also going to do a video to just deal with how to prepare for um, tastings or international wine tastings in general, these wine um, kind of galas or these wine tastings. Um, and in particular with the Vancouver International Wine Festival, I'm going to be giving you a roadmap of what wines or what booths I would go to um, so for those that are local here. I've also done a video about Barolo. As some of my viewers and subscribers know, I'm kind of really into Barolo. It's a nice compact area. And in Burgundy, I'm into Chambeau Messigny. So those are the two areas I'm going to focus on uh, maybe for the rest of this year, just to kind of get a little bit more knowledge of. So I've got that video out already to TWH club members who've already viewed it, uh, but that will come up later on this month. Likewise, I've done part two in my Corvin challenge series. About three months ago, I did a video on the Corvin wine preservation system and um, opened up a couple of bottles of wine uh, just to give a uh, taste of them. And then I put these bottles back into my wine cellar and now it's been three months and I'm going to re-look uh, at them with the Corvin system and uh, see if uh, it really has preserved the wine. I'm going to try to get to a few tastings this month. Uh, tonight I'm actually opening this bottle. This is the 1986 Pavilion Rouge from Chateau Margaux and uh, hopefully it won't be corked. If it's okay then I'll do a review of that. Uh, if not then probably a review of the 2010 uh, Chateau Margelaya. And this is a great winery um, so I'd love to talk about this. Um, to viewers and introduce it to those who are not familiar with this winery. I also plan to do a video on uh, corkage and you know because I did a video on wine lists in restaurants now I'm going to do a video on corkage because people are very interested about corkage when you pay for corkage and in particular my views about the etiquette when we um, ask um, to bring your own bottles in. And then finally over the next couple of months, I hope to do another um, video in my Bordeaux basic series on uh, Poyac region. I've been meaning to do that, just haven't had the time. And likewise with my Burgundy basic series, I'd like to go through the area of Chambon Massigny, which is the area that I'm kind of of interest at this point. So lots going on. Um, I think it's an exciting time as we get into the summer um, and I'm also traveling in the summer so uh, I hope to bring you some good videos also actually on my other channels um, trophy travel experiences and trophy food experiences from Montreal and parts of France. My shout outs this month is to Luca and MM. Thank you everyone subscribers and viewers for continuing to view my channel. Uh, it's not the most well put together channel. It's not the most creative channel, um, but I really enjoy um, comments from viewers and subscribers. I love the interaction and I learn so much from my viewers and subscribers. I love when people share their experiences with wines um, and compare them to what I experience 
And even if it's different, I'm good with that. Everyone has their own um, preferences, so that, that's great. I usually try and share some of my views about wine knowledge or wine wisdom in every video. And I'm going to go back to something that I've repeated over and over again many times about wine scoring tasting. Um, and I'm really against that at a kind of a higher level. Um, at a, as a beginner, I think it's really important to read magazine scenes like Wine Spectator or Wine Advocate and to follow ratings because there's so many wines out there. You don't just don't know where to start. So I think that's really important. But once you've kind of got a little bit of experience with wine appreciation and you kind of know your own taste, I really um, think that the wine ratings are really not that important anymore. Um, they don't know your palate. Um, and so really it's, I really stress personal preference. A lot of people will buy exclusively on wine ratings. I buy wine ratings. I can tell you that, um, but not exclusively. So, and I can tell you that most of my most memorable wines have come from experiences where, um, you know, if I had looked at the wine ratings, I would have never bought that. And it's particularly true with older wines. I've had a couple of experiences in the last little while turned out to be excellent experiences and I would have missed out on all these experiences. So please trust your own palate, your own taste, your own um, thinking. And um, at least uh, when you get up to um, uh, drinking, have confidence in yourself. Um, your palate is much better than any person, including myself, include any wine critic, because you know yourself better than anyone else. So um, have that confidence. The rest of this video is going to be my video to our BC uh, subscribers and what's uh, new and on sale in the BC liquor store. So um, it's an exciting month because of the International Wine Festival. So I hope you'll enjoy my videos on that. And uh, I hope to continue to interact with all my viewers and subscribers throughout the month. So until next time, happy drinking. So for BC wine lovers, this is your monthly update for what is on sale and what's new and BC liquor stores for the month of April 2023. The first wine is a Cru Level Beaujolais wine from Chateau de Pirot 2020 Brulee. It is um, on sale this month from $28.99 to $24.97. The $97 denotes a last uh, reduction price, so get it while you can. Um, Bruley is a region, a one of 10 um, kind of uh, crew level regions in Beaujolais, not as famous as like Moulin Avant or Fleury, but um, a good region. And so this is going to be 100% Gamay and a little bit more serious than uh, your regular Beaujolais wine. So I would give it a try. Next wine is an affordable Bordeaux from the Pesce saint laurent region. It's Chateau Brown. It's a new uh, release of the 2015 vintage. So uh, it's got some age on it. 2015 was a great year for Bordeaux and uh, not uh, expensive. $69.99 for a almost uh, what eight year old wine, Bordeaux wine, which is ready to drink. So I like it. I think it's got a 90.1 spectator rating. Um, Chateau Brown is near Chateau Olivier, which is one of an, another wineries that I really like in Bordeaux for value. So I think this is a, a pretty good price uh, because you're picking up a wine that's, um, you know, got some age on it and ready to drink uh, right away. And that's particularly nice um, when you're talking about Bordeaux. For those of you that follow me, you know that I'm really into Barolo at this point. So here's a nice Barolo that's a really entry-level wine. It's uh, Fontana Freda 2018 Barolo. Really nice price on this, $42.99 to $38.99. Um, it's, I can't actually figure out where it's from. I looked on their website. It says it's from Mangi from Alba. So I'm actually not sure where it is. It looks like it is a traditional style um, uh, Barolo. It's been aged two years in large cask and then followed by eight months in bottle. So um, again, just the entry level Barolo, but really nice price for this. Um, so I think that's a, I, th I think it's got a, like a 90 point or 89 point wine spectator rating on this. So a uh, reasonable um, price, good, long history producer and great uh, affordable entry point into the Barolo market. 
This next wine is pretty unique. It's from the Italian region of um, Basilicata. And so it is, um, the winery is called Basilisco and it's owned by the Fuido de San Gregorio uh, family, which um, kind of has some very nice wines in Southern Italy. Um, the grape type is Anglianico de Vulture. So all this is very neat because it's just so much, um, so unique to Italy. It's priced this month from $24.99 reduced um, to $21.99. And so this is a red wine from kind of a southern um, Italian region. It's going to be um, kind of very fruity in style. And, um, you know, it's going to be, I think, fairly easy drinking. Italy has so many of these unique grape varietals. I actually don't know very much about it, but it's just neat to try the different places. And you usually get pretty good value for them. Next two wines are on sale together, so you can do a comparative tasting. These are both Suave Classicos from 2020 Vintage. So on the right, you have Bola, which is their Suave Classico is reduced from $15.99 to $13.99. And then left, you have the Tenda um, Suave Classico, and that is reduced also this month from $23.99 to $20 to 49. I like Suave Classico just as a pop and drink um, white wine, very refreshing, good acidity, um, a little bit of grassiness in it. I've had both of these um, and it's particularly the Tedeschi um, Tenda is um, quite attractive at this price. So I think they both drink very well and it's kind of nice to have a comparative tasting of both of them. I love picking up um, affordable wines from great producers, and this is one example. This is um, from the winery Fattoria Le Popio. It's their 2021 Moralini de Scansano. So um, uh, Popio is famous for their um, wine La Safredi, which is really a top-end um Tuscan, you would call it a super Tuscan wine or IGT wine. So this wine is actually really well priced, $27.99 down to $24.99. It is from the sub-region of Moralino de Scansano. Uh, mostly Sangiovese grape, about 85% with a little bit of Alicant and another local grape called Cilio Gilo. Um, so um, really nice example of a wine Great producer, great label that, um, you know, you can try for a value price. So I would pick this up. Next is a um, Amarone from Tedeschi. And this happens quite a lot in BC liquor stores where you can have two vintages of the same wine side by side. And that lets you do a mini vertical, which I really love. So on the um, left, you have the uh, 750, a regular bottle of Tedeschi. I think it's 2017. It's on sale from $64.99 to $50.99. And then on the right, you have the 2006. 16 Tedeschi in Magnum format for $145. They're both fairly highly rated by Wine Spectator, like 92 and 93 points. So it's kind of neat to have both of them, although the um, 16 you'll have to buy in Magnum format. Amarone is a region in Italy, and it, the grape type is kind of a blend of grapes, mostly Corvina and Rondinella. Um, and it's really quite high in alcohol and very sweet. Um, very popular style of wine, um, nice and tannic also. Uh, but I think it's a really neat thing to have uh, both of these wines and uh, kind of buy them and then drink them side by side. This is kind of these weird things about Italian wines in BC. For some reason, we get um, very affordable prices for a lot of um, kind of mid-range and high-end um, Italian wines. And this is one example. So this is the um, from the producer, Cherry Boschus. It's a Barolo from 2006, from 2018, sorry. Um, and it's from the um, 
the MGA of Kanubi or the subregion of Kanubi. Uh, Kanubi is around, I think, 280 meters above uh, sea level. And if you've seen my previous videos, um, still I'm ha I'm not convinced that I really enjoy Kanubi from my palate. But maybe I should bring, drink more of it. Um, but again, if you check on Wine Spectator and most other it. Um, uh, U.S. websites. Um, this is much more. So this is actually um, $169.99. It's not on sale, um, but you have to think that's Canadian dollars. So um, that would probably be about $140 or $130 U.S. Um, so I think um, at least it's listed in Wine Spectator. It's a little bit higher than that. So um, here you're getting a, a good deal on the wine. We get a lot of uh, Australian labels here in BC, and this is an example of a pretty decent priced one. Um, this is the Howard Park 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, $31.99 reduced to $27.99. So Howard Park is a producer out of the Margaret River area in um, Australia. It is um, family owned, and so um, again, a pretty affordable price for a Australian uh, cab, which is going to drink um, quite nicely. It's not going to be, I don't think, uh, over the top surprising, but it's going to give you good value for the money. This next one I can actually find on the BC Liquor website, but I did actually see this in the Canby at 39th Star because I took a photo of it. So anyways, I'm not sure if you can still get it. It's $24.99 reduced to $21.99. This is um, the dry Riesling from um, Pusey Vale uh, from Eden Valley in Australia. I've had this many times. Love this um, wine in terms of it's a drier style of Riesling, but a really um, substantial in terms of the taste and the um, texture and the body of it. And so um, it's a wine that you can pop and open, but you can also age probably for 10, 15 years, no problem. So uh, great producer and a really, really nice wine. So uh, if you can pick it up, that's great. Last wine I have for you is the Bodegas Norton uh, 2018 Privada uh, Red Blend. So um, very interesting story about this. This is uh, obviously a wine from Argentina, but it was originally reserved for the Swarovski family uh, because they wanted some wines for their family and friends to enjoy. So Privada means private in Spanish. It's a blend of uh, Malbec, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Bodegas, uh, Bodega Man Norton was established in 1895, one of the first wineries in Mendoza. So this is going to give you a little bit of the taste of um, a Malbec, but uh, smoothing it out with other um, grape varietals. Um, on sale this month from $25.99 to $22.99. Hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, until next time, happy drinking.